Hi, this is uh, All Natural X on University of Reddit, and today we are going to be talking about the uh, game development and programming, or game programming and development class, and we are going to be talking about the class in general. I'm going to be talking about the method of delivery, how you guys are going to ask and answer each other's questions, and we're going to install all of the prerequisites and write our first little Hello World program. That's all I really expect from this lecture, so you can kind of skim through the posts on University of Reddit that I'm going to make after I finish this if you don't want to watch. That's understandable. So the first thing we're going to see, I have the syllabus and everything posted that hasn't changed at all, but I've also created both um, the University of Reddit course page for this class can be seen on uh, uofreddit.com slash class slash 161. You can see, oops, you can see all of the information here. Um, for now, I'm recording this class on Windows 7 because I assume that's the operating system the majority of you will use. Once we get all of the prerequisites set up, though, might change, might not. We'll see. Alright, I've also set up a subreddit for this class. You can find that over at reddit.com slash r slash game dev class. I highly recommend subscribing. Um, it's a restricted subreddit, so currently only I can post to it, but... Um, you can subscribe and comment on the lectures. There's also another one, another subreddit I've created. You can read it in the description. Reddit.com slash r slash game dev questions. Now, this is actually a subreddit that's run by a bot called Game Dev Bot. And what this does is it'll take all of the replies to the threads. As you can see, here are two replies that I've made. And it will aggregate them all of the replies to all of the threads over at nerd.new slash questions. So over here you can see the questions that have been asked. You see the two um, questions that were in that thread. And it updates every three minutes so as to not cause too much strain to Reddit servers. Um, it takes edits. So the idea is once somebody solves your question, you're going to want to add a little bit of edit to the end to stop future people from going to it. Um, and it takes all top level replies from any thread that Game Dev Bot has posted. It works via the inbox. And it'll provide you with a timestamp, a permalink uh, to the user, a link to the user's page, and then a permalink to the, um, question itself for easy replying. So that just about covers the delivery method. Um, the class is going to contain mostly video lectures, um, as well as PowerPoints, which will be freely available for downloading. And if you need to skip a lecture, that's fine. You can, the reason for this uh, system with the questions is mostly so that if you need to skip a class and ask a question later, your question will easily be found. Now, I was thinking of a system where I would not answer questions for a minimum of 12 hours to give other students a chance to answer your questions, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so what are you going to need for this class? The first thing you're going to need for this class is a Java programming class. You're going to need a Java IDE. Um, for this, I recommend NetBeans. Um, you can use any IDE, but I will be doing the class in NetBeans. So, if you want to, um, if you want to keep up more easily, it might be a good idea. However, you can use any IDE. I recommend Java SE. If we're not in the enterprise. The uh, we're not programming in Ruby or any of that, so you can just download Java SE. Um, if you're on Linux, you can just run uh, apt get install NetBeans, or you can use your favorite package manager. I'm pretty sure it's also NetBeans on Fedora. I'm not sure about any of the other distributions, but you can just find a way to install that. The thing is, I'm not quite sure how to install NetBeans on a Mac. I know in previous uh, things I've done, there have been people who have had problems installing NetBeans on Mac because Apple actually packages their own version of Java for the Mac OS X operating system. However, I think on new Macs, they've kind of solved this. So you can go ahead and try to download NetBeans, and if you have a problem, just let me know in the uh, Lesson 1 questions thread on our game dev questions, and I will get back to you as soon as possible on that. Alright, so once you have NetBeans installed, what you're going to want to do is open it up. This might take a little while, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. Alright, so I've gone ahead and opened NetBeans. 
this should be the default screen of NetBeans that you see. Um, you can ignore the uh, tutorials whole thing and go right over to this projects pane, which is really what's important. First thing you're going to want to do is create a new project, and you're going to want a job application. Now you can name this uh, project whatever you want. Um, I'm going to name it demos because these are going to be demos that I'm going to be doing. Project location is by default in your documents folder on Windows, it's in Home, on Linux, and Mac OS as well. So this can be actually customized if you put it on a USB flash drive and set NetBeans on multiple computers to read from that drive. You could actually carry your projects around multiple computers. You might even be able to do something creative with Dropbox, but I'm not too sure about that one. Alright, so can be alphanumeric, it's always recommended that it start with a capital letter. It's just conventions. And you're not going to want to create a main class because we don't need one. We will create it ourselves. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is create a package. Packages in Java, um, I guess they're sort of like glorified folders. But anyway, we're going to be creating a new package for this project. And the package name is going to be Hello World, I guess. You're going to be writing a Hello World application. Now the thing is, you're going to want to right-click on Hello World, and you're going to find all of these options here. You have Java Packages, Java Class, Java Interface. You don't have to worry about these just yet. Go to Other. This window will pop up, and you are going to want to choose Java Main Class. If it starts you in this screen by default, just hit Back, and then choose Java Main Class. Oops. Now, as for the class name, I'm going to call it Hello World, since that is what we are writing, once again. And the thing is, you're going to want to add a main at the end of main classes, just to be simpler to distinguish another naming convention in Java. Sorry about that. Anyway, it will create a file that looks like this for you, and we're going to step through what every single word in this file means. First, let's talk about the comments. Java has three types of comments, and all of them are being illustrated for us over here. The three types of comments, really two types, are implementation comments and documentation comments. Implementation comments are normally what you find in other languages. Um, these one-line comments um, are prefaced by a double slash, and multi-line comments such as this are prefaced by a forward slash star and then a star for each line and back, uh, star backslash. So this is an uh, implementation comment. These are generally where you write, oh, how you do things, for example. Um, you can comment out code or say, I made this code work by doing whatever. Just comments for yourself or other people reading your code. You can delete that. Another type of comment is the uh, documentation comment. Documentation comment will provide general information about your code, and beans in Java are prefaced with instead of star and uh, slash and one star, slash and two stars. These are known as documentation. You can see one set of documentation comments here, and another one here, which is saying that the um, parameter args contains the command line arguments for this program. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. You can keep them. It really makes little difference. This is a single line comment, and it's just saying to do application code lo uh, logic here. When NetBeans auto generates code for you, it generally inserts a to do comment if it doesn't fill everything in. Um, and application code logic here is basically saying what your main class is going to do is going to be inside this method. We're going to talk about classes and methods in a later lecture for object oriented programming. So just don't worry about that terminology right now. All right, we've got three main lines here. One is saying the package that we are in, which is hello world. I defined that earlier, right over here. Another is uh, talking about the class, which is the main class we created using the uh, NetBeans main class wizard earlier. That's hello world main. You'll notice there are a set of curly braces that contain the main method of the class, a method known only as main. Now, we haven't covered methods, but I'll tell you what these things mean anyway. 
in regards to programming methods are sort of the workers. I'm sure you know, since I said intro to programming experience, um, you can think of them as functions, you can think of them as uh, methods from other languages you've had experience with interchangeably pretty much. Anyway, this is the main method. The first keyword, these are the keywords, is public. Um, public is letting us know that this method can be accessed publicly. Static, which simply means that um, this method is common to all instantiations of this class, not that you're supposed to instantiate a main class, but anyway. And void means the method has no return type, so you won't be returning anything with this method. Once again, we'll cover that later. Main is the main method, and it takes one parameter, that's the input of the method, which is a string of arrays called arguments. So we don't need to worry about anything. Definitions of all those things will become very clear to you as we move through the course. So I said we'd do a hello world program. I'm going to stay true to my promise for basic running programs. Now the way you're going to do a hello world program is you're going to use the print function system.out.println. System.out.println is basically the standard output of the system. This will generally output to your output under here. Sorry, we don't need this. Um, by default, but it can be redirected depending on where you're running the application from. Um, and inside this print line method, we have a blank string literal created, and then a semicolon. Semicolons are very important in Java. Um, you have to use them. Obviously not in method declarations or certain types of loops, but after most statements, you do need to use a semicolon. Now in this blank string over here, the string literal, because it's not being assigned to a variable it's referred to, we're just going to put hello world inside the string. So what this is going to do is it's going to output to the console a string called hello world. Handy shortcut for NetBeans is if you type S-O-U-T and hit tab, it'll fill everything in already for you. So it's not really a big deal. Now to run this application, we can use the run button at the top, which will run the main project. That means that um, the main, main class in demos will be run. However, we don't really want to do that because demos is going to contain a diverse amount of main classes. So what we're going to want to do is either go to um, run and run file to run this specific file. And as you can see, it will output hello world. Or you can use shift F6. Anyway, there are two steps in the building of Java applications. Um, compiling and then running. And we will talk about those as we get into basic Java tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, next lecture. Sorry. Um, so that's just about it for setup, small hello world program. You also know about the uh, questions website and the format for asking questions. Um, I will be sending out automated PM reminders to everyone who requested them from the uh, from the uh, course offer thread. If you would like to sign up for automated PM reminders, just PM my username, all natural X displayed here. You could PM that with um, either sign me up or something like that, or you could send your email and be put on the mailing list. If you wish to unsubscribe, once again, just reply to my PM, send me an email, reply to the email, and just say you'd like to be taken off the list, and I will gladly do so. All right, well, that's it for the first very short lecture, and I look forward to this class, and I hope all of you do also. If you want, what you could do is leave a comment, not in the questions thread, but in the uh, R Game Dev class thread that I'm going to make. Just um, what you want to see in the class, and maybe a little bit about you, programming experience, stuff like that, so we could get to know each other a little bit more. Until next time, I'm All Natural X. This is University of Reddit, and thanks for watching.